Hello children, the motive of this video lecture is to soundly acquaint you with the basic building blocks of sentences and kinds of sentences in use. So the objectives are, <clears throat> first objective is you will learn here what a phrase is. Our second objective, formal and informal expression of sentences. Third objective is kinds of sentences. First kind is declarative sentence. Second is interrogative sentence. Third is imperative sentence. And the fourth one is exclamatory sentence. At the end of these three main objectives, you will also be given one drill exercise. So our first objective, what a phrase is. What is the fundamental unit of phrase? When we have group of words, but that group of words forms a part of a sentence. It does not deliver a complete sense. That is called a phrase. Here I have given one example also. Dash is eating an ice cream. In this example we can say we are given verb, we are given an object, but we don't have a subject. So this delivers half a thought and half a meaning which is not delivering the complete sense. When we have group of phrases or we can say group of words unlike a phrase forms a complete sense is called a sentence. This is our main lesson of today's class sentence. I am repeating it again. Please pay attention. A group of words unlike a phrase that forms a complete sense. It conveys a complete thought. For example, a little girl is eating an ice cream. Here we have subject plus verb plus object which completes the structure of sentence here. So the example which I have written, a little girl is eating an ice cream is an example of sentence. It is a complete structure which is required to form a sentence. So I hope this objective is clear to you. Our second objective is formal and informal expression of sentences. So here I have mentioned few instances and situations when we talk formally and informally. Here the first instance for the formal communication when you talk to a person of higher authority. When you talk to a person of higher authority like to the principal sir, vice principal sir, in charges and your respective teachers too. The second instance is when you answer a question asked by your teacher in the class. I repeat it, when you answer a question asked by your teacher in the class. The third example, the third instance, when we talk formally, when your father talks to his boss. When your father talks to his boss. Now I'll move on to the informal instances. The first instance is when you communicate with your friends, relatives and <coughs> peers. I repeat it, when you communicate with your friends, relatives and peers. And the second situation, when you talk informally, when you talk to your friends while playing together. So, I hope these instances and situations are clear to you. And here I have given a task. Please pause the video and note down this task. A task to list down five formal and five informal sentences. I repeat it. Five formal and five informal sentences that you experience in your daily life. Five formal and five informal sentences that you experience in your daily life. I hope this objective is clear to all of you and you'll be able to write down five five examples of each formal and informal talk. Our third objective is kinds of sentences. In this objective, we are going to learn four different kinds of sentences. First sentence is a declarative sentence or simple sentence. A declarative sentence 
tells about something it tells about something and it ends with the full stop i repeat again a declarative sentence tells about something and it ends with the full stop examples first example they go to the store the second example here i have a blue pen so these are the simple sentences in which somebody is stating something or de declaring something these two examples show the complete structure of subject plus verb plus object and now we'll move on to the second kind of sentence what is that interrogative sentence an interrogative sentence asks some something i repeat an interrogative sentence asks something and it ends with a question mark i repeat again the both instructions an interrogative sentence asks something and it ends with a question mark for example where have you been as i have ended the sentence with a question mark it's very essential otherwise it will look like a declarative sentence we don't put any question mark at the end of the question sentences second example what time is the lecture today it is also an example of interrogative sentence i hope these two sentences are clear first sentence what i taught here declarative sentence and the second one is interrogative sentence now we'll move on to the third kind that is a, an imperative sentence in this case it can be in the form of a request when you put a request to someone or a command or an advice piece of advice so it can be in, in the form of request command or advice it also ends with a full stop examples are given here first example clean your room where it does not show any kind of request as we have not written any please here so it shows a command clean your room second example do your homework comma please it shows a kind of request now i repeat again the imperative sentence it can be in the form of a request command and advice first example clean your room it's given in the form of a command or we can say an order to someone second is do your homework please so we'll move on to the last kind of sentence what is that exclamatory sentence i repeat exclamatory sentence an exclamatory sentence shows strong feeling when somebody is showing the strong feeling of expression then we call that kind of sentence is an exclamatory sentence examples what a pleasant weather is and these sentences are also ended with the exclamation sign I, as i have already put here the exclamation sign one and then under one we have put a dot to show the exclamation sign the second one is how calm the students are when the class is completely silent then we usually use this kind of sentence how calm the students are i hope these all the four kinds of sentences are clear to you i repeat again the four different sentences which we have done now first is declarative sentence or the simple sentence second is interrogative sentence or the question sentence which are always ended with the question marks the third one is imperative sentence and the fourth one and the last one is exclamatory sentence i hope these all the four sentences are clear to you this is our fourth objective drill exercise as i have already discussed in the objectives list that at the end of the three objectives you will be given one drill exercise so in this drill exercise you are given a task of identifying 10 sentences when you identify them according to the third objective which i have recently explained you you will be writing d for the declarative sentence in for the interrogative interrogative sentence im for the imperative sentence and ex for the exclamatory sentence right so you can pause the video and write down all the 10 sentences in your notebook i believe this video was very much helpful to you
Thank you.